Hey guys, Slash from Movies 410 back again with another video, and for today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Michael Trapani. Uh, Michael Trapani is an avid horror movie mask collector over on Instagram. I've done a trade with him in the past, he's a really cool guy, so I highly encourage you all to check out his page. I will put a link to his page in the description below so you can check out his stuff. But anyways, what's in this package is actually a 1974 Leatherface mask. Um, it's the Pretty Woman version by Trick or Treat Studios. Um, and I'm also going to be unboxing a Nightmare on Elm Street 1984 glove by NECA. So I am extremely excited to get into this, especially for the glove, because um, it's going to go great with my uh, cosplay. So I'm really pumped about that. Okay, so enough rambling on. Let's get right into this package. Okay. See, there's some bubble wrap and some uh, uh, packaging. There's some cardboard. Michael Trapani, if you're watching this, thank you because you package this very, very nicely. I appreciate that a lot. So, this looks like the first thing. So, let's get out of the bag. So here's the first thing, guys. Here is the Trick or Treat Studios Pretty Woman mask. This is very, very nice. I like this thing a lot. It's very detailed. I love the hair on this. It's very similar to the uh, the regular version of the mask that I actually own. So I will be displaying this right next to it. As you can see, it's still tagged. But I'll most likely take the tag off. Yeah, I like this thing a lot. Stay tuned for a separate review of this thing. Can't wait to do that. But yeah, thank you for that, man. Oh, I'm super excited for this. Now we put the box over so I can do this. Okay. And here it is. Here is the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger Glove Prop Replica. I like this thing a lot. Let me zoom in so I can show you it. Oh, let me adjust the camera too. So I really like how it comes with a display hand. Um, NECA really didn't have to do that, but the fact that they did is just super awesome. Uh, they also have a Part 3 glove that I'd like to get in the future. But this is actually, believe it or not, my first real or my first replica Freddy glove. I have uh, a cheap one that's made out of rubber, but it's 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 a piece of crap basically. But I'm really excited to uh, own a legit one, and I would love to get some more gloves in the future. I would actually really like to get one from Razorblades.com. I think that'd be pretty cool. But this is a great first uh, Freddy glove, and this is going to go great with my cosplay. Um, so I know I don't have a Freddy vs. Jason glove per se, but um, this, this is close enough in my opinion. Um, I think the video should come out fine, and I believe the, the cosplay is just going to look awesome in general, especially with the silicone mask. Um, but also, stay tuned for a separate review of this glove, because I will be reviewing it in a different video. But uh, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Here, let me put the uh, leather face mask next to it. And I'll give you a better look at it. Um, sorry, it's not on the... Obviously, when I display in the horror room, I'm not going to display it on this. This is just for show. Um, but there it is. Let me zoom in. Or, um, let me adjust the camera so I can give you a better look. Here, I'll also zoom in. Very, very cool stuff. So, huge thanks to Michael Japani for sending this stuff in. Uh, very satisfied with it. And, um, yeah, if you're watching this, man, I appreciate it. And I hope we can do more trades in the future. So guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell, and I will see you later with some more videos.